And if you're heading to and from DIA, no weather worries right now, but the winds are already starting to pick up. Mostly clear skies over Denver City Park. We've seen off and on rain and snow showers over higher terrain spots like Long's Peak, but more widespread precipitation over the western slope impacting the I-70 drive. But it's looking right now like wet roadways. You will find some snow falling and accumulating over higher terrain over our high mountain peaks. So wet weather over western Colorado, dry and breezy for the metro area and east. Winter weather advisory continues for many of our mountain towns, all areas shaded here in purple until at least noon tomorrow. So off and on snow showers are likely. The winds have already been extremely gusty from the south southwest. A red flag warning is now in effect until six o'clock from the south and east of the metro area, and we could be seeing wind gusts over 50 miles per hour at times. So depending on which side of the state you're on, a very different weather pattern. Last recorded wind gusts over 48 miles per hour near Berthoud Pass and near 45 mile per hour wind gusts near Pueblo and Lamar. Temperatures not nearly as warm as yesterday. We tied the record of 82 out at the airport. Today it's going to be highs in the 60s. Right now we're seeing low 50s, Fort Collins and Greeley, 60s and 70s out east. Temperatures have fallen over portions of our northern and central mountains, which is why we're seeing more of that rain shift over to snowfall. For the metro area today, mainly just dry, breezy and cooler. Daytime highs in the low to mid 60s. Low 70s expected Castle Rock and Parker and then some colder air arrives. Later on tonight. So your high country planners still very blustery showers off and on temperatures today topping out in the 40s steamboat in Leadville and low 80s over the southeastern corner of the state. So here's the timing of what it looks like through the rest of the day and tomorrow. It's going to be strong winds temperatures in the 50s by three o'clock. So we'll see these fall here in Denver chance for a few light rain showers over northern Colorado by about 6 p.m. But not a lot of moisture expected over the eastern half of the state. A little break in the moisture in the mountains, but we'll again see more snow move in early Wednesday morning. So keep that in mind. Maybe treacherous travel at times with areas of blowing snow as well. In Denver, you see some blue indicated here on the radar right around 9 o'clock tomorrow. Quick little dose of moisture potentially and then a rain snow mix over the eastern plains. Not expecting any accumulation here for the metro area. So some light moisture more off to the west. As we look ahead, snowfall forecast mainly our central and southern mountains getting hit the hardest with the snowfall. But it is going to get really cold here over the Denver metro area north to the border. A freeze watch will take effect early Thursday. So for trick-or-treaters during the afternoon, it will warm to the mid and upper 50s, but you definitely want to layer up with those costumes this Halloween. Temperatures overnight. 20 early Thursday, then around freezing Friday morning, warmer and dry on Saturday. And don't forget, it's time to fall back. Daylight saving on Sunday. Clouds increase in low 50s for highs.